Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early, your craft doctor, and I'm here with my next video. Um, I'm using my iPhone. Uh, I'm trying to figure out uh, how to work this out, but it's not working. <laughs> um, I, if, if you don't know, I have Ecamm Live software on my Mac, but my camera is mounted on the ceiling in my um, paper crafting room. And so I might have to go get my other DLSR and hook it up to my Ecamm and use my portable Mac instead of my um, iMac. But anyway, um, what I wanted to do today is this. I'm doing snap tabs. So this is what I'm doing today. If you remember, I was telling you that I had a show coming up and I'm doing a bunch of snap tabs for the show. So I have this, um, let me show you. I have this cart here that I bought um, from Joann's yesterday. This is like a sideways cart, um, but it also they're 50% off. So I have all of the snap tabs that I've been creating um, over the last little bit um, cut up and put in here so I can trim them all. Like, don't think that's it. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I put my finger in the camera. This is the other drawer full that I have to cut up for my upcoming show, which will also be the launch of um, my actual store the same day on the 19th of June, Ju 19th of June. Yeah. So this is the container and this is where I put them. So what I wanted to do is switch you over here to my um screen this is my pe770 let's make sure you want to saw and feel this is my pe770 and we're getting ready to do this um that crayon snap tab the crayon box snap tab because i'm trying to find uh designs that i can use everywhere and i wanted to do this video and see about the noise control and i have in my earbud um, right now, of course, I only have one because I lost the other one somewhere. So I got to go buy me another set. But I want to see if this will work and minimize the noise factor from the machine. Because next to it, I have my designer Topaz um, machine. And I'll be running that also. So I'm doing the video to see what the noise level is for everybody. Okay, so the first color is 079, which you probably cannot see that. Ouch, I hit my head on the TV. <laughs> um, so it's 079, so I've already loaded it and threaded it, so we're going to get started with this. Press the foot down, and let's get started. Okay, so that's the very first design. And so I'm using this uh, iridescent vinyl for this uh, this design because I just thought that that background would be really pretty with the crayons. So then next, while you're kind of watching that um, we're going to be working on that stitch out. Um, And you don't see it. Oh yeah, you can see it, but I don't think you can actually see the actual picture of the stitch out. But it's going to come alive for you. But I wanted to show you what this looks like. Um, let me see, maybe if I back it up a little bit. See, this is the reason why um, I'm doing these tests before I actually um, I'm doing a recording before I go live. This is so much different. I might have to go bring all my Ecamm set up for my second camera into this room, which will require me to buy a third camera for upstairs when I do my business. Okay, so um, I'm hoping you can hear me because I'm right on the other side of the camera inside of my so what I'm doing is 
is I'm going to design or bring up the next um, thing. So now it's time for a color change um, to 405, which is blue. And so let's do a color change. I want you to see this design come to life, um, but it's a lot of color changes. It's a 14 color changes for this um, to actually come alive. Okay, 405. Ooh. Um. Okay, because of course it will be the one so blue that it's not open. Okay, the one thing that Brothers has going on with them is that Brothers machines have very quick color change ability, mainly because of the uh, automatic needle threader. So you can get this baby up and running quickly. But the downfall to that is this lowering the presser foot thing. That is quite annoying. Because you have to lower that presser foot every single solitary time. On my finger machine, um, on the biking machine, you don't have to do that. It has uh, a sensor system or something and you don't have to lower it or raise it or what have you. Okay, so <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you over here, and if you can see my screen, this is where I work my computer. Um, let me see if I can widen this out so you can see it. Of course I cannot. Okay. So let's bring you a little closer to my screen. So I use my SoNet embroidery right now because um, I pay for the month to try to compare the software. But I'm going to change the software as soon as um, the month is over because um, first, this software does not convert well with PES files and because I have two PES systems the brother that I'm working on the small one 770 and my baby lock I need that integration and it does not do that well at all well it doesn't do it at all um I was trying to get a design from I was trying to get a design from um I was trying to get a design from the uh, Viking website, got it up, it was fine, it was cute, whatever, whatever, whatever. And um, I could not bring it over on the PE, PES format. I'm, I'm changing colors again, this is 506. This was probably the worst design to do this recording on, but I think it's gonna be okay. Six yellow. Um, yeah, and so it would not send the design. So that is not going to work for me because I was trying to do a uh, design for my granddaughter, a, a onesie, which, oh my God, I have to show you how to do a onesie design or onesie project on my flatbed super easy with the tools that I found um, but it would not it would not work the transfer did not work let me show you what I did so <clears throat> I embroidered these onesies for my granddaughter and that says that's a ladybug but my daughter's favorite color is purple so that's why the ladybug is purple but it says mommy is my favorite lady and this is a very small onesie you can see that I don't know but that onesie is a three to six 
three to six months. So you know that's tiny. Um, because I'm trying to do different sizes for her. And then this was the design that I was trying to do um for the baby in a onesie, and it's number one uncle. And I did this on that machine, but the the I had to change what I was using as a design because um I could not pull up the necessary design that I needed or wanted to use from my Sonic library, which they give you a library of five bottom thread. They give you a um, library of 5,000 um, designs of 5,000 designs. That's a lot. But you can only use it on the Viking system. You can't transfer it, which is one of the drawbacks that you, you're going to find um, is a big problem that you cannot transport those designs to any other um, system, which really sucks. Okay, I'm trying to have to change the bobbin. Okay. Get on there. I should have checked the bobbin before I started, and of course I did not. But that's okay. Okay. And I, I'm using these um, metal, metal hoops. I love these metal hoops because you don't have to worry with a metal hoop being thick. It's really like you're floating everything. Back up. Oh. Um. Okay. You're floating everything, so they you use those um uh, magnets. Gosh, Neva, get it together. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my next design. So for um, also, what was not included in the My Soul Net is, you see how I can see all of these designs? That's called Embrayant Thumbnailer. It's so you install it. It's $39. I don't know, it's time for a needle change. It's $39. Um, I got it from Embrayant. Um, I have not... Uh, I didn't go through an affiliate, which I probably should have, but I wasn't sure um, who to go with or, you know, who could do it or whatever. So I didn't do that. But, um, uh -oh. so I uh, went to Embrilliance and I downloaded it. And as soon as you download it through Embrilliance, you get a uh, an email saying that you downloaded it. And once it's done um, and downloaded, you you can install it right on your computer, right? So that's how I'm able to see all of my documents. Now you have to unzip the, the file though. Remember that when you can't like, let's go back. Okay, I wanna go to snap tabs because in my, uh, computer, I have Etsy designs, snap tabs, and I've just put them all in there, even if I didn't get them from Etsy. And so right now, I just did the dinosaurs earlier, and I pulled it out and saved it. And so see, you can see that right here. Or if you have a single design, which I have here, this, uh, this um, <laughs> it's called Resting Witch Face. And women know about that if you've been to a conference and they tell you about that. But um, see how you can see the crayon box right here? You, can, you can't really tell what these are, but you can see them. Um, so I'm going to go into the game controller and I'm going to go into view. 
and I'm going to go to extra large and that's how you can view them in extra large um, and see you can see them now you can see all of them now see how you can see all of these and that's thumbnailer and that's something that it does not have which I really like in oh I love this game controller small game controller is the, oh these are sanitizers I wanted the key fob though okay Okay, so we're gonna use the game controller eyelid thing because that is super cute. Cause these are actually um, sanitizer holders, not just key fobs. And I'm gonna do this key fob one. Okay, so as you can see, or if you can hear, um, I'm at another stop with the the actual um, um this i'm gonna move you i need my actual stand i'm using the argon stand and thing is heavy so you probably can see that this is coming to life uh, you probably can see. yeah you can start seeing this is crayons is coming to life so when you actually change colors don't pull from here I had to learn myself to stop doing that because you're going to mess up your tinting disc. Pull from the bottom and pull down your thread out. Don't pull it backwards. And I do that sometimes still, but it's not good for your machines. It's not good at all. So, can you see these? Oh, no, you cannot. I'm going to get this, y'all. If not, I'm going to pull out my cameras and use my Ecamm system because also I'm at the end of the wall and um, 704. So if I put you on the other side, my big arm will be in the way. <laughs> 704 purple. 704. I think last time I was looking for 704, I didn't have it anymore. Because the one thing of um these threads are the brother brother red, brother red smith threads or whatever. Um, I got these off of Amazon, and I have decided that I'm going to replace them with the uh, um the other brand. These here, they're called isocord let me see those isocords i'm going to replace them with the isocords as i start dwindling these down um, so i'm not replacing them once they're empty uh, but a little thread goes a long way i have actually used up only two spools of my thread since I bought these and the only one I've used up is the purple and the black but that's because I did a bunch of tote bags for my show and I used the the design is purple and black sorry about that all I'm on my big arm all in your way there we go. This this design has very small little pieces to it. That's why it's taking so long. I mean, so many changes. Okay. So then I'm going to bring you back over here, and we're going to. to work on this so this is still the MySoNet software and it, it, it kind of reminds you from what I've been looking at it reminds you of um, in brilliance so look this is the um, snap tab or key fob or whatever 
Um, I'm going to rotate this 90 and I'm gonna move it up here and then I'm going to duplicate it and I'm gonna bring it right here so I can do at least two of them and I'm gonna rotate this one. Ooh. Well, actually it doesn't matter if I rotate it or not. That was dumb because normally if I have three on a page, I do one here, one there, one here, but just, they could have been the same way. Um, so look, I wanna show you this. When you go in here and now it's time for me to um, move along smartly as it was. I, I, I have my little thingy here to upload this this thing. I put it, I have the little block because I'm working on my surface because this, this computer works on my big machine. So I'm going to save that. Um, what is this? Um, oh, pterodactyl. That's that I did this uh, design. So I'm going to put that under, and you can see the picture. I'm going to put that in this, my snap tab because I created it and now I don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to close that out because my machine automatically pulled up what I was looking for. And then I'm going to go to file, export, and see how I can export it in the PES. Well, right now I'm getting ready to use my Husqvarna Viking. Um, and so you have to export it in the v, uh, VP3 format. And I'm using a flat, another metal hoop and press OK. Then I'm going to put it inside of my uh, flash drive, which is the F. Um, and I'm going to add something to this extension to on a page that let me know that I have two of them on there and it's exported into this document. Okay, so then I have to go back to the file, which the file right here, go to F and now my file is there. If you can see that the file is there. Then I have to push the right click on my mouse and inject this out so I can pull this out of here. Okay, so now I have this. I think I'm giving you a wide enough. Yeah, what is that? Um, so then I use these USB thingies instead of using the side of my machine and, and um, this, uh, is a long cord, so I just wrap it all the way around and it sticks out right here. And now I can open this up as I color change the next color change for this. Um, and then you do with the Topaz machine, if you can see this. Let me see if I can bring you a little bit closer. You hit the, the, and by the way, her name is Ruth. Her name is Ruth. And for those who know what Ruth is, Ruth is a jewel. Her, her stone is Topaz. And so Topaz 50, her name is Ruth. Okay, so this is 209, um, turquoise 209. I'm starting to really learn these colors too. Um, okay, we're going to do. I just see how quickly this can and uh, you can do this, and I keep messing it up. Okay, and here we go. Okay, so now for this, you hit the topaz symbol, the file symbol, the my file symbol, and the, you can do it either my file, which is what you build on the screen, or the USB. Then you can see this is the system file, and this is the design here. That's the actual um, design that we just built. And you can see the picture. 
and now I opened it up okay then here you got to go to the hoop size you want to use and I'm using 180 over 130 metal and now you can see it so also you can move this around and put it different places but I'm gonna center it in the middle of the hoop and press go. It's going to tell you to put your hoop, attach your hoop. So I'm going to attach my hoop right here and press okay or check mark or whatever. Then this machine tells you where it's gonna start. First thing it's gonna do is gonna add this um, jump stitch to that I believe and these are all the color changes there's 12 color changes in here okay so I think I want to skip color change one well no you know what I'll just I'll do it um, it's orange and what I did was I purchased this threader thingy here. It's eight of them. It was severely overpriced in my opinion, even though it was 50% off. But it allows you to put your threads up there so you don't have to worry about finding thread colors and what have you. And then I'm going to thread this here. And this is the only complaint I have about this machine. I love this machine. This is my only complaint <laughs> is it does not have an automatic needle threader. But what it does have that kind of outweighs the bad is when you, you don't have to lower your presser foot, you press start. If you hold on to this thread, it cuts it because it cuts your jump stitches. And so what it's doing now, it's doing the placement stitches for this. And while I'm doing the placement stitches for that, I'm gonna come over here and change out the thread for this machine. And that is the one complaint I have about um, the Brothers Machine, the lower end, let's say, Brothers Machines, like the P770, is they don't cut your jump stitches. I hate when when that presser foot it drives me bananas in pajamas. Okay, so if you see that, okay, so I had a thread error over here. It came out of my needle, or did I thread the needle? Okay, I'm gonna do some back stitches, and let's go. Okay, so there that is. So what this did was it did the actual, if you can see that, it did the placement stitch on top of the tear away. That's tear away. I don't generally use tear away. I like to use the actual cutaway because the cutaway to me gives the design a little bit more strength and also did you see that when I cut this I didn't have to raise that presser foot so and it tells you what thread and it's the Moderna Moderna thread even though I don't really use that um, yet but I will be able to change the thread that I'm using 
um, and put my own colors in there. But right now, I'm more or less, for this machine, unlike the Brothers, it gives the Brotherly or Smith thread. It tells you what color. This tells you the more expensive thread brand and not um, and it tells you the more expensive thread brand, right? Okay. So now for this one, I want to make the controllers uh, blue. So I have this blue vinyl. I'm getting ready to come over to my cutting table over here, if you can see it. Um, I have a table right here that I cut on. Right. Y'all, I'm all over the place until I get these cameras correctly. So I know that I only have two designs in there so that I know that I could take this, this um, metal thing and position it at the five by seven, but I like to do it at like the eight by six. So it's positioned at the eight here. Let's put it at the eight here eight in by six and this makes it easier for you to cut out and have a big enough piece of vinyl you don't have to give a whole extra but i do just to be on the safe side but if you use this this gives you a exact six by eight this was uneven but if you could tell that if you can see my measuring if I put it here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then eight. So, okay, so we're going to go back up here and we're going to put this piece down. And since we are ready, um, I centered the design. So if I center this piece, I know that it's going to be in the right place. And then over here, you can see that it told me it's time for a change, thread color change, but all I have to do is press start here and it will go back to the color screen. And you see that thread comes right off. And so now it's going to start to continue with the design. Okay, I need five or seven. And we're on number nine of 14 right now. And you have to remember to pull up your presser foot in order to get this thread out of the 770 machine. Okay. I love the fact, the fact that this is an automatic needle threader. It does have its drawbacks, but automatic needle threader is fabulous. So this is also the reason why I love having flatbed machines because my six needle, I would have had to put a whole bunch more vinyl on it. Um, and that would have been not good to use a lot of vinyl, a lot of extra vinyl as it were. Okay, so now our color change is to a black. And let's see, are you good? You can see me. Okay, so for this machine, I just had the scissors in my hand. I cut down here. Easily can pull this away. I have the black on there. So I'm not fishing around the colors. 
I was gonna buy the big thread spooler from Amazon and it had 20 threads, but it was just too much. It cost too much. Or it, it didn't cost too much, it was too many threads. Cause I don't really have many designs that have more than like six or seven. So I just thought that it would be too many threads, even though th that would have been cheaper than this thing here. But also that one sat on the table, which took up more space. Okay, I'm going to press start. And here we go. And see, once you get used to the... Once you get used to the threading it, it works well. Okay. So now I have both of them working. Um, because I, I love to do this part, the six needle, I really enjoy to do like tote bags and stuff like that. anybody to get a rotary cutter it will save your hands and it helps you to save material because I can't cut straight with a ruler okay so let's go back over here it's a lot of moving and shaking over here y'all it's a lot of moving and shaking back and forth and so you can see that this piece will be wide enough and or long enough and wide enough and so what I do is I just put this piece underneath here so I know that's the piece that's going to go to that. And so it's piping out this design. Um, and I think this is going to be really, really cute, both of them. And this, that's that one. And this is that one. Can you see that? Those crazy curtains behind there is going off. Plus, it's that shiny material. <clears throat> um, also, with this machine, I've, I've been looking for comparisons and why this machine, I really enjoy it. If you look at the screen board here, like you can see the, the design, but here, see that's piping away. It's going, it's going, it's going. If I feel like I need to, I can lower my speed and sometimes I do that depending on what type of material that I'm using but if not I hire I bring it back and I have yet to figure out what the speed is but um, I think it's like 600 or something but um, it does really both of them does great jobs this one has so many hoops. Uh, I have a four by four, which I did my onesies with, which I have to show you how to do that. Um, it'll kind of cure people's problems with their onesies. When you see how I did these. Um, 
Um, and I have a five by five. I have a six by six. I have a three by three. Like these hoops here. Five by five, three by three. I don't know what this 80 by 80 is. Let's see. But I find myself using the most, the five by seven. And when I do mug rugs, I think I'll be using the eight by eight, but I don't know. Okay, so now we're doing a color change. Oh, both of them need color changes. So let's get this color change like quick. See, it's easy as that. I don't have to up and press it up like I do this one. I have to lift the presser foot up and then pull out the thread. Um. So then this thread change is a blue, <clears throat> and that's right here. And you install this little thingy in there because that stand is made for this machine. It, I bought it from the Viking dealer inside of Joann's. And I'm, I'm, it doesn't take me this long to do this, but because I'm going around my my phone is taking me a little longer Let's see even though it's a, it's an automatic i mean a manual meter threader it's really not that bad i just don't like it because when you get something from somewhere else and then you have to do it yourself it's annoying Okay, so now we're going to change this thread. It's 3337, which is reddish brown. Okay, so now we're getting ready to change the thread again. And on here, there's, um, it shows what's gonna go next. So we're getting ready to do the outline. Uh, so that must have out did this outline here, I think. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Because it's a chocolate brown color. For that, this, this color we're using two, two, okay. The one crazy thing is um, you don't have to do all this needle switching. I mean, thread switching when you're working with your multi-needle. And so you have to decide, is it the time you're wasting doing all these thread changes comparative, oh, I'll just pull that out, comparative to the fabric you're wasting? Because time is money, but material is money too. And literally, I could do these thread changes in a hot minute. 
And sometimes I need to stop break. <laughs> changing back this one over here is getting close to the finish line I'm on 11 and 14 over here. Can you see that? Whoa. Hope you can see that. So this one is getting close because that's on 11, so it has 12, 13, and 14 is the back. I love that. It, it did turn out really well. I can't wait to cut those jump stitches. Have to worry about on this other bigger machine. I don't have to worry about. Oh, I think it's doing the face. Yeah, it's doing the face. this screen. I don't think I can do it. No. I think you have to do it when you first start. What I was trying to do was split the camera so I could see it. But that's that design. And so, okay. So that's what's one of those choices. with the other machines um, I come back to my design screen 
um, and checking in and make sure that it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I make sure that it makes sense first and what steps it's on. And then I start my next design. And so since I'm doing the snap tabs, I just go to my snap tab window and I just go down the line um, of what I'm making. You know what? Let me see if this will work. If you go here and it press extract, extract all, extract, replace with file destination. Um, I might be able to see what's in there because I'm extracting that zip drive. Because that zip drive is annoying. Okay, so we're going to go back over here and we're going to change the color to a yellow. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. I feel like y'all doing uh, the hockey, uh, no, tennis. The tennis matches is when you go back and forth, back and forth and change things. Tennis. Okay. And for these, I'm really, I'm, all I'm doing is choosing colors because I don't know what the real colors are because the selection chart that I have okay, does not include these threads, I don't think. Okay, so what's going on now is this is going to go into the change color mode because it's doing the buttons, all the buttons. And so it's very quick stitch outs. And one thing I do like about this, because I generally could, uh, I could put on here my big hoop and do quite a few of these because I have that 14 by uh, 14 and a half by eight and a half. So I could do a lot more, but I like to test out these designs first because I just purchased these all new from somewhere. I don't know. I purchased a lot of different ones. For this one, for our crayon, see that it's starting to take life. Uh, oh, it's time for me with another one. Okay, it's time for me to change the next color. going to do and I do this quite often based on the design I, I let it run completely as opposed to doing um, like putting putting the rim around it as opposed to uh, 
changing that last color to put the snap tab around, I use that same color. Just like when I'm in the beginning, I generally do not um, do the placement because I always put enough vinyl in there. For the placement. Okay. Camera is in a way that I cannot reach this. buttons which require a lot of color changes but this is already on eight okay so this one is on the last one and it's asking for color 869 which is purple I'm just gonna leave in the green because there's green in it and so what you do now after you've done all of your design on the front what you have to do is they tell you to take this off and put this underneath. But because I cut this wide enough, if you can see that it'll cover it, all I have to do is slide this underneath, make sure that it's meeting at all the right points. It's meeting at all the points for the snap tab, okay? And now I'm letting it go with that same color okay then over here we got another color change where are you there we go we got another color change because remember we're doing these buttons getting on my last nerves with all these colors but that's okay it's going to be cute um what color is that that's a green so we'll pull this blue what I didn't do is put all my colors on first because I could have, and then I wouldn't have this problem. That's the reason why I bought this thing here. Okay, and I'm going to show you a trick that I do with most of them, and I got this from Shana who is a rock star at Snack Tabs. If you know Shayna from Cross Creations, I got this tip from her. Oh, that is so cute, y'all. Wait till you see it. All these, I hate these drum stitches. This is the reason why I really love this machine. I don't, any machine, if you can afford it, that doesn't have a jump stitch type situation, that's the machine you really want to go for. So you're not bogged down with jump stitches. Um, what she, she did was when she finished her design, she did that last tack down twice. And that helps secure it a lot better. And if you can tell, I started this one first, the Brothers P770 first, and it has four small designs. Let's see if you can see that better. Four small designs, where this one has two kind of bigger designs, and it has 12 color changes, where this one has, I mean, 14 color changes, which I did not do one of them, so it made 13 color changes. This one has 12 color changes, which I did do them all. And this machine is going to finish almost as quickly as the brothers. And... silver color so 
Okay, so it just told me my design was finished. I'm going to go um, advance my colors all the way to 14. I'm, uh -oh. I'm back at 14 and I'm going to restitch just for the security purposes. Because you would hate to sell somebody a snap tab or anything and it comes a loose. And sometimes I don't get enough thread back there. I just use this and pull it right on out. And I know you can't tell, but that's me holding on to that thread. You may be able to tell because I was really close. It's me holding on to that thread. And I hope you can hear I hope these all these blenders are coming up to the kids. I mean, when I look at this video, I don't know. Oh yeah, see, doing that extra go around is really making a difference. And because my needle, I'm using the 7511s, my needles are not sticking big gigantic holes in the binder. So that's also another thing, because they told you to use 9014 when you're working with vinyl, but they do, that 9014 needle is really big. And you don't want to get stuck with that 9014 needle, and it's a beast. This is color change and it's purple. And if you can see this, it's 
telling you where it's going to put a design and I think it's like little dots in the controllers because it's purple so let's put you there take that out of here let's grab our purple again and eek, put it out Sorry about that noise if you can hear that that's my fan i get hot from doing this and moving back and forth but this is exactly what happens when i'm working excuse my arm because it's probably in the way uh the back and forth is what happens when i'm working because these are all my snap tabs for the show Reaching around this camera ain't no joke. Okay. Let's see what this is going to do. Yeah, that's it's gonna be so quick. Watch. Let's look like oh no, wait. No, that purple is going around here so i need to take this piece and slide this in here um when i'm sliding this in here the one thing that drives me bananas is the fact that that bobbin thread is underneath it so i have to make sure that i cut enough so that is seated is seated inside of the rim okay and it's being caught and it's it's what it's doing is shifting that bottom thread wait let me back up I'm gonna back up these seven stitches now um, because it's, it's going to go around and I think those the last black is the placement stitch for something I don't know what the placement stitch is for. I think it's. I don't know what it's for. But we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out what that last stitch is for. That is so cute. So this this is going around the whole design, and then. I think, I think I can tell you. So you're looking at that. So let's go back over here. This is my snap tab central. So when you're looking at the design, <clears throat> I don't know about any other design, but I'm going to go in here and you can go into design player and you can show what's going to happen next so you see this this here if you can see everything is disappearing and reappearing see it's showing what's being done so yeah I think that black is just those, yep. That black is those two little tabs. Cause that's the last thing that needs to, those placement stitches. And I don't know why they have placement stitches on here because you already have the back one. So you're not, um, you're not using it for anything. So I'm going to, I'm going to, for this, okay, so for this, it's going to put those placement stitches and it left a hole there and it's for those placement stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and put them there only because it left a hole for them. I don't know why though. Oh, it doesn't even matter 
because you see that those placement stitches are there. Um, maybe they just left them there because it's still the same design for the small um, the small sanitizer holder. So I did not, yep, that's what it's for. It's for the sanitizer holder. This is really a smaller version of the sanitizer holder, which I like that it's doing this second set of stitches because technically at that point, um, I was supposed to slide in another piece of vinyl to make it a um, sanitizer holder because you use three pieces um, and, and I would advise anybody to on that second piece which is the back to use felt because it's thinner but since this is just going to get some eyelets um, I'm not gonna worry about it you see it's gonna put that over placement And then it'll be done. And then the machine will say that it'll be finished. Can you see that? I'm sorry. Right here is going to show design finish. This is an hour or something long video, y'all. But look how clean that design is. <clears throat> if I would have did this on the 770, I would have had jump stitches all over the place like I do on the other one. But see, it says embroidery is finished here. You probably can't see it, but that's what it says. And then we're going to move you back over here. And all I have to do for this machine is press this lever and slide that out. And see how flat that is back you up see it's very flat only a few jump stitches in the back and that's what that looks like okay this is the headache for me and i haven't figured this out this here if you can see this is bobbin thread i don't know why it don't cut the bobbin thread at the end um of the design I think you can, but I got to find out how. I don't really know if you can or not. Okay. Ooh, what time is it? I have a meeting at 8 o'clock. I got a meeting. All right, y'all. So, y'all got a chance to see the design. I will. Um, this is that last one. It's turned out super cute, and it's flat just like it. See, not a lot of jump stitches on the back, but because they're all in the front. So, Thank you so much for joining me. I got to go to my meeting. Have a good one.